Despite the win by the senior national football team, the Black Stars, in the first leg of the World Cup playoffs against the Egyptian counterparts, the Ghanaian team is leaving nothing to chance in their preparations for the second leg in Egypt. Host of GTV Sports Highlight, Kobnai was said this in an earlier telephone interview from Kumasi. Well, I think I'm totally, totally pleasantly surprised by the scoreline. We all had faith in the Black Stars' ability to win this particular game, but I think that I never in our imagination did we believe that we could totally annihilate and outmuzzle the Faro seven-time Africa champions by six goals uh, to one. So um, we're very excited. I think that um, all Ghanaians are very, very proud of the Black Stars. Right. Some football pundits have said that this win for the Stars automatically qualifies the Black Stars for Brazil 2014. How about that? Well, I think it would be presumptuous to suggest that uh, we have automatically qualified. Uh, what we can say is that uh, we have a big foot in Brazil 2014. Uh, but football being what it is, I think what defines football around the world is its uncertainty. I guess it's the reason yesterday against all the odds, the Black Stars. And if you study football history, you know that there have been teams that have come from four goals down and won the second leg by 5-0. There are teams that have lost the first leg by 5-0 and won the second leg by 6-0. So uh, it's not yet Uhuru. What we can say is that uh, we are confident Ghana would qualify, but to suggest that we have an automatic foot in Brazil would be presumptuous, and I do not think that it would be the best thing to do. Talking about the second leg, there was a failed suicide attack in an attempt to disrupt the Nigeria-Ethiopia qualifier in Addis Ababa after their game last Sunday, what security arrangements have been put in place to guarantee the safety of our Black Stars ahead of the second leg qualifier in Egypt? The Ghana Football Association has officially written uh, to FIFA. That was about two weeks ago. And refreshingly, FIFA responded to the concerns of the Ghana Football Association regarding the security uh, explosion and near anarchical situation uh, in Egypt as a whole. And FIFA has given the Egyptian Football Association up till the 28th of this month to give FIFA the assurance that indeed adequate security measures have been put in place and that should be done in writing uh, to FIFA to ensure the security of the visiting Ghanaian contingent. And if FIFA is satisfied with the security arrangement, the match would proceed in Egypt. Otherwise, FIFA would take the step of either moving the match from Cairo uh, to another venue where they feel that the security of the team would be guaranteed in the absence of sufficient assurance.